Hi everyone, my name is Dustin, my pronouns are he, him, his, and I'm the president of Pride Alliance here at Des Moines University. Hi, I am Laurel, and my pronouns are she, her, hers, and I am the vice president of political advocacy here at the Pride Alliance at DMU. So today we're going to be doing a presentation about pronouns and why they've become more prevalent recently in modern culture. Have you noticed? Many people are including their pronouns in their email signature, social media profiles, and even when they're introducing themselves, especially at the doctor's office. Some people even wear pronoun pens or stickers on their lapels or their ID badges. And some people can find this very confusing and since it's so new. Um, so the questions we have today are, why has this practice become so common recently? And why should you take part? So why is this practice of using pronouns regularly become so important? Well, not everyone identifies with the gender they were assigned with at birth. You might know someone in your community who doesn't identify with gender they were assigned with at birth. They may have transitioned at some point in life and identify with different pronouns. Um, letting others know of your pronouns can help everyone, including them, feel respected and included in your community. It has been proven that respecting people's names and using the, the pronouns they share with you both improves their quality of life and improves trust in your relationships with them. No one wants to feel left out. So how do you respect the identities of others? Step number one, reflect pronouns. When someone tells you that they, how they wish to be addressed, utilize the pronouns and name that they provide. It's that simple. And you don't be afraid to ask a person how they wish to be addressed. Some people can appear more androgynous than others and make be confusing to you. And it's okay to ask them what their preferred pronouns are. Um, they would rather you ask them than to refer to them as the wrong gender. That's perfectly fine. And if, someone's pro if you do get someone's pronouns incorrect and they correct you, that's also okay. Just begin using the pronouns they identify with afterward. Sometimes life can be confusing, but as long as you make up for it in the end, that's all that matters. Yeah, and when it comes to someone's identity, uh, pronouns are an essential part of someone's identity, just like their name. Um, for example, if I told you my name was John and you just started calling me Jack, that would not be very respectful. I, I said my name was John and that's what my name is. So make sure to use um, a person's name and pronouns that they share with you. Here's an example of a culturally responsive intake form. These types of forms are increasing in popularity and you may have even filled one out yourself at your last checkup. This form asks about a patient's name, pronouns, gender, and if it's for medical purposes, the sex assigned at birth. These types of forms can help front desk staff, nursing staff, and providers better communicate with patients while maintaining the patient's comfort. It is very common to feel uncomfortable at the doctor's office, and for transgender or non-binary patients, this experience can be even worse. Many patients that do not feel comfortable with the way that an office treated them because of their identity will not return for additional care. Respecting patient pronouns not only improves communications with patients, but it improves trust and ultimately improves patient outcomes, which can save lives. Yeah, and utilizing the pronouns uh, a patient provides leads to um, uh, improved patient-provider relationships and uh, impacts in the future. So to summarize it up, this might seem small in nature, but in the grand scheme of things, it does make a big impact. You might have long-term friends, children, or even grandchildren who have recently identified as a different gender than you previously knew them as. By utilizing pronouns or sharing your pronouns, you can help them and everyone else in the community feel more included and respected. Don't be afraid to ask people what their pronouns are. Um, additionally, when you adopt this practice, someone close to you might feel comfortable enough to tell you uh, more about themselves that they might even identify with a different gender. So at the end of the day, um, by sharing your pronouns, you can help others feel more respected and included. When you go to community events, don't be afraid to introduce yourself, of course, of your name, but also your pronouns. Uh, so for example, for me, I would say my name is Dustin Nguyen, and my pronouns are he, him, his. It's a very simple uh, task, and it helps others feel included. Thanks for watching, and um, we have some references here if y'all want to check out the CDC website if you need more information on this. And just remember, respecting pronouns can save lives.
at Des Moines University's Family Medicine Clinic, our goal is to provide you with compassionate care that is comprehensive. From caring from children to the elderly, our medical team provides holistic preventative guidance on how you and your family can maintain a healthy lifestyle and manage any symptoms that may arise so that you can be at your best. During the current COVID-19 pandemic, maintaining your health as well as a safe lifestyle has never been more important. Our providers are here to help when acute conditions affect you or your family. We treat musculoskeletal injuries, infections, illnesses, and many other medical conditions. As an academic medical center, DMU is training tomorrow's healthcare providers on how to provide expert care to people from all backgrounds. We invite you to visit the Family Medicine Clinic at Des Moines University. We offer the care and attention you deserve. Mm -hmm.